The kinetic chain. No, not that thing. Have you ever heard the phrase, it's all connected, especially when talking about the body? Well, newsflash people, it's true. You see, when it comes to the inner workings of your body, like your heart and your lungs, we all have somewhat of an understanding of how they're linked. But what about things like how you stand affecting your back pain or shoulders rounding leading to knee pain? Relax, I'm not about to hit you with a sales pitch here on another back brace, but I am here to educate you on how something as simple as the way you stand in line at the grocery store or sit when you drive are all indeed linked, and which points you can start paying attention to for the best chances of maintaining healthy postures for your body. So if you're with it, stay tuned, because we've got that coming up next. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Go, go, go. Are you tired of feeling that chronic naggy pain that just won't quit? Do you stop and think throughout the day? Gee, I wonder if I'll have enough coffee and sarcastic responses to control the indescribable amount of rage I feel from my back pain. Do you ever look up after realizing you spent countless dollars on Advil and Fabergé eggs in an effort to distract yourself from the chronic pain? Well, this guy did. And you're not alone. Millions of individuals suffer from chronic pain across the globe each day. So please, put down the bottle and pick up the phone. Call us now at 1-800-999-99. Guys, no matter which version of the question that pops up that makes you wish you could lie in bed all day due to chronic pain, they all have one thing in common, which I can guarantee. You can pretty much pinpoint the weakest part of your posture and eliminate a great deal of chronic pain if it's based on tight muscles. It's just a matter of identifying the weakest link in your kinetic chain. For example, let's take the feet. Are your feet flat? Because there's about 18 million people counting in North America who do have flat feet. And if this is the case, they'll go on to develop knee, hip, and most likely back problems later on as a result. The nice thing about the kinetic chain is that because it's this interwoven superstructure that gets you from A to B, it can depend on other parts of itself to pick up the slack when one area isn't functioning up to par. Now the bad thing about it all is that it can depend upon other parts of itself to pick up slack when one area isn't functioning up to par. In other words, because it's all connected, you need to give each and every joint equal attention when it comes to maintenance for posture and bulletproofing them against the wear and tear of everyday life. In order to do that though, we need to understand how different types of joints move and what to avoid in order to establish best practices that keep you strong and healthy. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to movement, we need to stop getting stuck and thinking solely about the front and backwards motions, because we're capable of rotation, lateral motion, and other movements as well. I don't want to overcomplicate this video, but let's establish a general framework to get a clearer picture of how the kinetic chain interacts with itself. First off, we've got flexion, extension, internal rotation, external rotation, abduction, and adduction, as well as something called circumduction, which is just a fancy way of saying making circles with a body part. I was going to skip that one, but believe me, mentioning it now, rather than dealing with the millions of kinesiology keeners who will let me know I failed to mention it, is less of a headache. Anyways, my point here is that the body is capable of a bunch of different movements in a bunch of different directions. And even if you aren't moving directly, unless you're in outer space, standing or sitting will cause a whole bunch of forces which happen with these movements. But let's play the role of someone with a foot fetish and look at the feet again. Let's say they're flat. And let's say this is someone who's never had too much trouble with nagging injuries or chronic pain. Here's what happens over time if they leave their feet as is. As a result, the feet shifting towards the midline of the body or remaining in what we call a pronated position, this will cause the next link in the chain, the knees, to want to follow suit, meaning they'll feel more comfortable in a sort of knock knees posture. Now, knocking your knees may not actually happen due to the rest of your body being strong enough to compensate, however, that doesn't mean other forces such as rotation, specifically internal rotation, won't happen. Now you can see where the problem gets worse over time as these forces caused by excessively pronated feet act upwards through the kinetic chain and finally reach the hips. Remember, in order for your bones and joints to reach these postures, the muscles that operate around them become stiff and locked up in these positions as well, meaning the muscles above them are going to change too. And what's above your hips? 
I mean, everything else, I'd hope. I hope you can see where I'm going with this, and it's why this is the first video in this series. Because in order to understand the root cause of a variety of conditions and really reach a point where we minimize the chances of them reoccurring, we need to understand what neutral posture is. Don't worry, I'll give you an easy way to start things off here. And I want you to get familiar learning how to set yourself back into neutral posture. You can do this by using a mirror taking a picture of yourself or adjusting your body with the help of someone cueing and giving you feedback. You're gonna stand so that you're able to see yourself from a side view or what we call sagittal view. The mirror makes sense now, right? What I'd like you to envision is a straight line running from the top of your head down to your toes. And you're gonna use three main points of reference for your line being your ears, your shoulders, and your hips. In other words, your ears, shoulders, and hips should all be stacked upon each other vertically, so you'd theoretically be able to draw a straight line through all of them. For your ears, pull your chin back towards your neck to get things started. You're striving to line your ear up with your shoulder and collarbone here. As for your shoulders, you're going to roll them backwards and downwards. If you've done this correctly, you'll notice you're already starting to open up your chest, and your neck should seem longer than it already is. Lastly, the hips are going to be a little bit more difficult to describe, but here goes. You'll want to squeeze your glutes or your butt cheeks together, flex them essentially, followed by tilting your hips toward your belly button. This is known as creating a posterior pelvic tilt. Now this isn't always warranted, but a good deal of us have what's known as an anterior pelvic tilt, which needs to be countered. If those instructions manage to confuse you less than those on the IKEA furniture documents, then you should end up with something looking like this in the mirror. Congratulations! This is what neutral posture looks like, for humans anyways. Feels pretty awkward though, doesn't it? And I say that because as a result of all the texting, driving, mousing, etc. that we do, we end up deviating quite a bit from this. But we can correct it, as you can see. Alright folks, so we've talked about the kinetic chain as well as the neutral posture to lay the foundation of this video series. There's quite a bit more we could cover, but for the sake of an intro, I think this is a great start. I hope you were able to take something away from this video and that you're as excited as I am to talk about other everyday conditions that many of us deal with and ways to prevent or make them more manageable. As always guys, please consult your healthcare provider before starting any new wellness regime and information you come across on the internet before you try at your own discretion. Please drop a like below or even subscribe if you want to show some support and until next time, may the best of your todays be the worst of tomorrow's. Peace.